Colonization can be termed as historical trauma, intergenerational trauma. It's trauma after trauma happening over and over again. Post-traumatic slave syndrome is really the direct assault on the most critical part of the culture, the relationships. When there are no resources, when people are looking at you as though you're actually already a criminal, when there is the unprocessed trauma and not the strong attachments to your caregivers, all of that stuff can compound. If the trauma isn't healed, the trauma will be repeated. Either you are going to act out that trauma and hurt somebody else as you were hurt, or you will act in and hurt yourself. This notion of good guys and bad guys is really false. Every single one of my clients had had an incredibly traumatic past. Most often, if a young person does something wrong, instead of helping them to repair the harm, it's mostly focusing on how much punishment we need to give that young person. Most often it doesn't teach them anything, it's just all about power and control for our young people. The, the most arrests happen in Chicago during school hours in school. Where there is oppression, there is harm, there is danger, there is conflict. Ours is a justice system that harms people who harm people to show that harming people is wrong. And so our system just replicates that harm. And you put gangs in this box, you put authority figures and the guards in the box, you put weapons in the box, drugs, racism, probably a few other different things. And every now and then you shake up this box and there's no way outside of the box. Healing is not dependent on someone else's suffering. The way I would like to discuss restorative justice is to talk about incarceration not as your primary instrument of social control, but the last instrument of social control with restorative things happening prior to incarceration and that you structure them in to your justice system. One of the things the, the victim's family needs to know is, is there remorse? Are you sorry? Do you know the impact of what you did to me and to my family? The one who did the harm needs to be held accountable, but not demonized, not labeled as a, a thug or a thief or a, a killer, but rather held accountable, but with support and care of a community. So hurt people hurt people transforms into healed people healing other people. Love is work. Love is sacrifice. Love is truth. Love is your ability to, to really look at what, what is real and then make a commitment uh, to make it more pure, to make it more sacred. Right? That's the true work. That's the true social justice work.